Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I am in horse trailer sales here at TransWest. For those of you who aren't familiar with us, we're located off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. And we have a big selection of new and used trailers for you to view. So today we're going to be going through one of our used inventory pieces. This is a 2007 three horse living quarter, four star. So for those of you that aren't familiar with four stars, they're, they have an all aluminum construction and they're one of the top brands in the in industry. So we really enjoy getting these ones in on trade. So four stars are made in Oklahoma, along with some of our Cimarrons. So it's, it's a place that, that pushes out a lot of really good trailers. All right, so let's start up here at the front. So right under here, the first thing you'll probably notice is we do have dual electric over hydraulic jacks. So that's gonna make your life a lot easier. This trailer is 29 feet on the floor. So to crank, hand crank all of that up, it would be a lot of work. So we've got dual hydraulic jacks on this. Another really nice feature about these is that you can independently level them. So if you're on some uneven terrain, these are really great. You can get it as level as possible for your slide out and your refrigerator. So that's a great feature. In here, we have your battery boxes, as well as the system for your hydraulic slide out. And they're nice and tucked away. Um, if you don't want anybody messing with them, you can lock that up. As we work our way over here, one of the really great features about this trailer is this battery, these battery disconnects. So you've actually got two different battery disconnects on this trailer, and one is for your house batteries. So say you leave a light on, and you're going down the road, um, you put your trailer away, you forget to turn it off. This battery disconnect, if you switch it to off, will make sure that no power is getting to that house battery um, going down the road. So when you go to jack it up next time, it's not gonna be dead when you go to put it on your truck. This one right here is for all your exterior install lights. So if somebody, if you're at a show and somebody walks by and flips on a few of your lights and you don't notice, um, it could drain your battery if you're not paying attention and you put it away. So there's another disconnect for that right there to make your life really easy. That way you don't have to hand crank these, jank, these jacks up. Those are a couple really great features on this trailer. Now we're gonna go ahead and work our way to the front. So this trailer, it's a four star with a Trail Boss conversion. So Trail Boss is located out of Missouri. They've been in business for about 25 years. This trailer itself is 13 years old. So you can definitely see how quality of construction on the interior really helps hold up the value of these trailers. So as you step in here, first thing you'll notice is up in the nose, we do have a queen mattress up there. This trailer, I would say the best thing of features about this trailer is the amount of storage you have. So you've got closet storage up there, you've got a brand new TV. So even though this is a 2007, we have upgraded the, the TVs to kind of bring them into this decade. You've got tons of, of closed storage up here. And one of the things I really enjoy is you'll see on a lot of these closets when you open them there's a light in there so that you can easily see which outfits you want to wear and make it really easy on yourself. So once again, more things to hide, more places to hide things. So with a 15 foot short wall on this trailer, I think this, this trailer would be best for somebody that's maybe looking to stay a little bit longer in their trailer. Maybe they want to camp out in Arizona for a bit um, and do some shows. So storage is a really big issue on horse trailers. There's only so much of it. So having a 15 foot short wall with really highly usable space is something that's really going to benefit the next owner. So one of my favorite features on this trailer is this huge double sink. One of the things I've noticed from people lately 
is that a lot of our trailers on the smaller short walls, you really only have room for a single sink. And if you're staying in them for a long time, it can get pretty tiring to do dishes out of that small little sink. So having this huge double sink makes it really easy to wash produce, wash dishes, and you won't get frustrated along the way. Another really great thing about this one is all the counter space. So if you're like me and you come into a trailer and just dump all your stuff on the counters, empty your pockets, you, want, you still want room on there to be able to prep vegetables, um, plug in a coffee maker, all that. So we actually have a little flip up countertop right here to give you a little more extra prep space, as well as this is a recessed two burner cooktop. So when you're not using it, it really nicely works as more counter space for you. So if you've got a big group, you're at a horse show, you're entertaining, um, it's really nice. You can set all the food out, have people come in, and then kick them right out of your trailer. But you'll have room to set all that up without having to worry about the flies outside. Another really great thing about this is who likes making cookies at horse shows? I know I do. So this doubles as a microwave and convection oven. So instead of having a traditional oven taking up a lot of space, this is kind of a two-in-one option. So you can make those cookies as well as heat up those microwavable meals. So once again, storage is prime on this trailer. You have so much of it. You can go ahead and get really stocked up at the grocery store. You don't have to pick and choose between um, the staple items that you're bringing down the road. So right down here, you do have your furnace. So on this trailer, you have a 25,000 BTU ducted furnace, as well as a 13.5 BTU air conditioner with a heat strip. So this trailer is gonna be really comfortable. You can close up any vents that you don't wanna use to really force that air into whatever direction you want it to go. So it's one of the really things I really like about it. You'll also notice this trailer is a little bit quieter. Um, that has to do a lot with insulation, but also you've got soft touch walls in these. They help kind of so soak up some of the sound a little bit better um, than the paneling walls. So that's another really great feature. If you're going down the road and you want to bring a lot of dry goods, this trailer has not one, but two pantries. So you can stuff a lot of stuff on these pantries. As well, if you, if you wanted to adjust the shelves, they're easily moved up and down so that you can fit cereal boxes or cans and adjust it to how it fits your lifestyle. All right. So now we're going to work over to our couch. So this is a hydraulic slide. It zips in and out really easily. And you've got an 80-inch sofa on this, on this trailer. So for somebody that's a little extra tall, say you've got a friend that needs to sleep over, but he doesn't want to lay cramped or sideways on this, there's a lot of room on this couch for somebody to be really comfortable. Or you can have a lot of people sit in here nice and easy, have a conversation, and get out of the heat. So that's another really great feature. Under there, you do have your 60-gallon fresh water tank. Um, so you'll be really comfortable if you're, if you're not hooked up to utilities. You can use out of that tank, and you'll be good to go. You've got your big fridge on this one. So it's a 6.0. Um, it can work off of electric or, or propane. Um, so if you're uh, not hooked up to utilities, um, those propane tanks that we saw underneath will keep this nice and cold for you, keep those ice cream bars good. All right, so as we work our way into the bathroom, you've got a nice, big, inviting shower. You know, some of those taller guys can get a little cramped in there. Um, so this is going to make it really easy. There's some storage so you can throw some shampoos or, or anything like that in there without having them just down at your feet. You do have a fan so you can get some of the moisture out of this trailer if you take a shower in here. And we do have a, a six gallon um, water heater on this trailer. So one of the reasons that we tend to do the smaller water heaters on a lot of our trailers is that they regenerate a lot faster. Um, it takes a lot longer for a 10 gallon water heater to heat up than a six gallon. So even though you can take a longer, hotter shower, if you've got somebody that wants to take a back-to-back -back shower, 
those six gallons are really nice to have. So in this bathroom, you also have a ton of storage here. Big medicine cabinet with lights above. And then lots more storage down below. And this trailer is just in great shape. Um, I know they were using it a lot for shows, but it just shows you how quality of construction for a 13-year-old trailer, how things hold up. So it, it really pays to invest in the brands that invest in their materials. So I mentioned earlier, I really like how when you open these closets, there's a little light in there. I mean, there is no shortage of storage on this trailer. Yep, so this is hardwood cabinetry. So one of the really nice things about having a hardwood cabinetry on a trailer is number one, they hold up going down the road. So 13 years of, of rumbling up and down, um, these are still in really great shape. They're not falling off their hinges. But it's also really nice that if say this stain, particular stain isn't your cup of tea, it is refinishable. So as opposed to like some sort of la laminate cabinetry that over time the glue will delaminate and you'll have issues and things will kind of start falling down. You can refinish this wood to bring it into whatever taste that you have. You can really make this trailer your own pretty easily. So that's one really great thing. That's another reason we love our outlaw conversions. Um, on our Cimarron's we have our outlaws and quality of construction just really shows itself once these trailers have been around for a long time. All right, now we're going to step into the stall area. And I'll kind of let you come out, Cherish. So one thing you'll notice is the owners of this last trailer, um, they were usually only hauling two horses. So since this trailer doesn't have a hay rack, they didn't want to have to climb up and down off the top of this trailer um, to make it make it usable. So they put in this huge um, stud, stud gate right here and you've got bridle hooks on this side. So if you did need to haul a horse in this first stall you can, but it's also a really great place to throw your extra buckets, your hay, anything like that without having to climb up and down off the top of the trailer. So that's really great. And then if you look down, um, this is a four star all aluminum construction. So we always talk about maintenance on your aluminum floors. Um, on this trailer, they've gone ahead and put in the worm flooring to make it really easy to just rinse out. That urine isn't going to get down to those aluminum, to that aluminum floor and start pitting and corroding. So they've taken a step to make sure that it's protected for the person that owns this one next. So it's a really great option um, for somebody that, that wants some easy maintenance. All right. We've got a chest bar here with some bolster pads. So if you do have a horse in that front stall and you open this door, they're not just gonna come jumping out at you. So you'll notice as you look that way, we've got drop downs on both the head and the hip side on this trailer. So your horses are gonna get a lot of airflow. Um, there's, if you're taking this down to Arizona or Texas, we want to get as much air into these trailers for those horses as possible. Uh, so you've got a lot of really great options here. So on this trailer, you have two 7,200 pound axles. Um, it's rubber torsion, so you've got plenty of axle underneath these trailers. In these mangers, um, they've got tons more bridle hooks. So you, if you have some halters or some extra bridles, you don't have to pick and choose which ones you leave at home. As I mentioned, this trailer is really well set up for somebody that's going to go and camp in it for a long time. All right, so as we're working our way around, we do have an enclosed rear tack on this one. So you do have three saddle rack positions um, to keep the tire off the front. If it, you don't want to worry about anybody taking it. We do have the tire up here got a couple brush boxes as well as some carpeted blanket bars so there's going to be a lot of storage back here for you if you aren't using that front stall if you're hauling a horse in there you'll have plenty of room um, going down the road 
as you'll notice, I am standing on a rear ramp. So for those of you um, that want something that's really easy for your horses to load, or if you need to put a generator up in the back of here, it's really easy to just wheel this, wheel it right up um, into that, that um, first stall. So this trailer is not equipped with an onboard generator, but we do have those Onan 4500 remote start generators that we will include in the purchase of this trailer. Um, so it'll easily run your AC, um, all your electronics, and it's really easy to use. So that's something that just ask about that when you go to look at purchasing this trailer. So like I said, that big, that big divider right up there, um, you've got airflow coming through so that your horses are gonna be really comfortable riding back here. You've got mats on the rear, on the stall walls. So if you've got a horse that likes to paw, it's gonna be really, really easy for you to get around that. And then one of the great features about this is to make it easier to clip back um, for your horses, this is a telescoping. So you can just telescope it out and it locks into place. Um, really simple, padded, very comfortable for your horses. And then up front, if you are feeding your horses as you're going down the road, instead of having to mess around with, with um, hay bags and stuffing them and, and having to tie them up, the mangers are a really great feature. Not only are they great storage underneath, but you can throw feed up in front of your horses so they can munch and be really comfortable going down the road. And then those jail bars easily pop out, so if you need to reload um, some hay for those horses, it's really easy to get, get in and out without having to struggle with those hay bags. All right. As we work our way around front, I just wanted to touch a little bit more on some of the things that we do for our used trailers. So every trailer that comes through Trans West um, for the living quarters runs through both of our shops. So over at our Branch 16 location, they go through the interior. They go well beyond the safety checks. So they make sure that every, they, water, they pressure test all the systems. Um, they make sure your batteries are good. They do all the safety checks to make sure that you don't have any propane leaks or anything like that. And then they also do some cosmetic stuff over there. So it's well beyond just getting it in, making sure that it's um, got the safeties. They go above and beyond. And then when it comes over here through our other shop, um, that's the dirty side, they check brakes, bearings, electrical, a ton of stuff to make sure that your trailer is ready to roll off this lot and you shouldn't have any issues. So there's a lot of things that go into the costs of our used trailers. Um, this trailer right here, we currently did just mark it down. So if you've been interested in it before, but maybe you wanna take a second look, it's priced really reasonably for somebody that's looking for a high quality used trailer at a really great price. So if you do have any questions, my name is Callie Say. You can reach me at 970-309-6368. And then if you wanted to look up the stock number, it is 5U191116. It is a 2007 four-star, three-horse living quarters. Thank you for working with us today. And if you have any questions, you know who to call.